Okay, in today's short video, we're gonna see what's inside an LED light because I'm working on my Jeep to swap out my under the hood light. You can see it right there. And what happened is that all the LED lights were working except for two of them, so I got this new one right here. It's got more LEDs in it. But what we're gonna see is we're gonna see if we could take that light apart and figure out what the heck happened why did those LED lights quit working? Did they burn out? Or is there actually like cheap quality made and something in the circuit board shorted That's the out? the one I pulled off. And the difference with this one is it's got a plastic lens, plastic body, where the new one I'm sticking in has a glass lens and a metal body. So I'm gonna cut the plug, solder it onto here, and get her back yeah, up. the new one is surprisingly brighter than my old one, so I'm gonna have to try it out at nighttime, see how it looks. So I have my DC power supply hooked up to it. Now let's crack this lens out and we'll have a look inside. Now I got the power supply hooked up and I'm using my probe as a ground. So if I hook it up like that, you can see only the top two lights come on. But if I, see that one there lights up. That one there lights up. But the problem is, is that it's right here. It's this LED right here is the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up my ground now I got my ground hooked up full time so if I bridge a port here see that one comes on those two come on go in the bridge on this side so that's the problem why it's shorted out is this LED light right here is shorted out. This circuit board is actually really simple. The ground and the positive got a resistor here and a resistor here. So it goes to these two legs on this side, then goes on the opposite side to the top two legs, and then these two legs go to these two legs, and then to this circuit, and then follows it all the way around. So this LED, like I said, is the reason why that light failed. So there you have it on this video with this LED light. I just want to share that with you because just to satisfy my curiosity and why it failed. And just in case any of you guys want to know why it failed. So basically, if you want to repair this, if you want to go through the trouble and re-solder in a new LED light, it would work. Now, however, the price of these is about 10 bucks with shipping so is it worth your time these are made to be disposable so just grab it chuck it out you know if you want to since i got the new one inside the jeep right now i could actually save this and then if one failed later on i could actually desolder one bulb and put it back in actually maybe i'll do that i'll just hold on to this just in case that happens then you know i'll save it to repair but anyways i'm gonna leave the video with that if you have any questions or comments post it below otherwise thanks for watching